Hey, here we are again. Welcome. We finished the cinema room, so it took about maybe three weeks after you were here last time. Let's show you what we've done. While we're here, before we step inside, I have decided to keep the Coke fridge and the popcorn machine outside here. I didn't want too much smell uh, of the popcorn inside the room. Also, it'll just make everything more cluttered. I want the room nice and dark the way it is. So I will eventually end up redoing all this and making it all inbuilt with a bench space and everything properly. Oh yeah, the door. Remember I, was, I extended the door, so there's these two lines. From outside here it's white, but from over there it's black. And um, so let's go inside so I can show you what this looks like. Here we are. This is the room, this is the final product. So the Jiprock itself, or plasterboard, is the sound shield. So it's got the extra um, density for not letting sound escape or blocking the sound going outside of this room. Underneath the plasterboard, we have the lead, the vinyl that we got from Digital Cinema, the MLV stuff. Um, so that's another layer of protection that actually blocks the sound even more than the sound shield plasterboard. So if you want I can give you a demo, I'm not sure on the video it might not pick up enough when we play this at say 70 uh, decibels. You can walk around the house and uh, so you can tell the difference how much it blocks the sound. Obviously the low frequencies like bass um, or the subs that's going to go through it's a vibration so you can't you can't block them completely so people don't know what's beyond this and then the speakers as well you see they're recessed and i didn't want to do recess and this is the issue i had so i wanted at the sitting height of each recliner i wanted the speakers to be kind of at ear height or close to it so that's why that's why this speaker's here and the other one's a little bit higher because i've got two steps here so again speaker um, covers they are paintable i know i need to do another coat that's fine so there's the speaker these are very easy the clips pro range they're very easy to install um, you install a frame first you cut it out so i'll show you i'll take the speaker out so i can show you inside how i've done it it's basically i've turned a recess speaker into a box speaker so um, just to keep the sound within that box and not resonate through the wall and that's where where um, the sound quality of recess speakers diminishes so you get a frame and then you get the middle part which is just four screws and it clicks open take it out and then and, and i'll show you inside what it looks like electrical wise i put a black non-shiny which is a horizon color from clipsol uh, one of their satin zen switches so top two do the bulkhead lights uh, these ones do the step lights and the fiber optic for the step this one does the panels uh, the bottom does the helmet LED lighting and this one does a star lighting and the shooting star. So we have the absorption panels everywhere. So as I said in the last one when we were building, these are the absorption panels. So two of them picking up sound bouncing from the surround speakers from that side. Two of the other ones doing the same thing from this side. The two at the back wall, they're capturing everything that's coming from the front. I've got a couple of bigger ones at the front. When you're sitting on a recliner, you have smooth surfaces everywhere or if you're watching from up here and no one's watching down there you've got all these smooth surfaces so i want to design like get them custom made some really fluffy covers that cover everything so i want all the sound to be trapped i don't want any echo or rebound even though it's it's pretty good going up to the projector this is a interesting one i ended up buying Originally the projector was I wanted to get, they kind of discontinued and I'm glad 
that I didn't get it because I wouldn't get it anyway because it only came in white. Epson's flagship model, this is a 12,000 model, comes in black and its competitor, uh, comparing the specs to Sony, this has all automatic shutter, electronic setting up of the screen and it does 4K at 120 frames per second. I know that for say my boys that would be not enough in frame rate but for me that's that's phenomenal for playing playstation or call of duty or one of those faster games on there so um that's what this projector had and it won me over and it was like a grand cheaper um, than the sony one so um, that made me choose this one and i'm very happy i ended up getting denon's flagship 8500 uh, model receiver so it can run 7.2.6 without any additional amplifiers but I do have an additional amplifier for a um, for the seat shakers so I got the Krausen uh, amplifier with four of the tactile units that are underneath two underneath each recliner the speakers that I'm using so there's four surround speakers uh, the Klipsch 25 uh, they're, they're all in Pro Series, um, you saw the cover, I removed them with 5.25 inch drivers, pretty cool. We have six Atmos speakers, so they're Klipsch as well, the Pro 16C Series, and these are pretty good as well, you can move your tweeter, um, kind of allows you, same, same thing with the ones on the side, you can um, adjust it a little bit if you need positioning it's got a crossover as well on there it's pretty pretty cool so there's six of those in the ceiling to do that height sound and um, then we got the front so here is my front speaker setup I obviously as you saw in the during construction I was in two minds whether I go recessed or box speakers box speakers are always better quality since I would have to have the subs anyway out in a box I had no room to put subs into the wall I didn't want to build a wall out to fit them so I um, ended up going with fronts um, as well uh, so the front left right and center uh clips the thx 6000 series pretty cool pretty strong speaker very very good have the subwoofers so these are the sunfire 12 inch i didn't want to go anything lower than 12 inch because it won't be enough shaking <laughs> so 12 inch minimum and the next the bigger one than that would have kind of encroached onto the screen so it had to be 12 inch so that's a carson 140 inch screen hdr and ultra high contrast which is perfect for this kind of projector uh, the projector itself is very bright so the the brightness that you lose on a high contrast screen or hdr screen makes up and it's actually i'm still running at 75 percent brightness I'm, I'm loving it it's just it's i'm glad that i went carson I hope you guys liked um, this setup and I hope that my system, my design can help you or inspire you to come up with something as well uh, from your end. Uh, this video is on the Digital Cinema YouTube channel. I will jump on there from time to time and check um, if anyone has any questions you can just ask in the comments and when I see them I'll get to them help you out or give any advice or take advice as well thank you